the next part I'm going to give you is the secret to less anger. The best things that parents say they love in sustainable parenting that gets unlocked is this ability to be both kind and firm at the same time. They realize part of why they haven't been very calm or confident is that, oh, it's been like, I thought I could either be calm, be calm, be nice, be kind, be patient. And then like, that's not working. There's no backbone to it. And so then I lash out and I'm monster mom over here and I just got to be firm. Have you been there? Have you been stuck in this cycle of suffering and circles? Oh, you're not alone. Hear what Kelly had to say about it. What I would do was utilize my kindness and be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. And then I'm getting stretched too thin. And then I would explode into monster mom mm -hmm. so bad. And it was so confusing for my toddler because he was like, mom, you were being so nice. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you know, you're monster mom. Yeah. And I could, I could not keep parenting like that. It was not effective. Mm -hmm. It was straining our relationship. It was straining my husband and I's relationship. I went to my husband and I said, it's time for us to make some changes. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? And it took him a couple days mm -hmm. to come around. Um, but once he started seeing me implementing what I learned from your webinar, he was like, okay. I can see how this is going to work for us. And mm. so he jumped on board. And ever since then, he was just like, I can't believe that, you know, he's like, this has just been worth every penny that we've paid. Um, <laughs> and for my husband to say that is huge. You can be both kind and firm at the same time. Let me tell you what that looks like. That's when I was in that place with Caleb finally. What it looked like the next week that we came to the lesson, because it took me a week of struggling through this to realize to do it differently, was I said, you know what, here's what we're going to change. I am going to explain to him ahead of time, outside of the moment, what was going to happen in the moment. I was going to explain to him when we go into our lesson, I'm going to give you a kiss on the hand, I'm going to squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm going to make sure you know where the edge of the pool is. If you're wanting a break from the class, you can just hang out there for a little bit. And when you're ready to join in, then you're welcome to join in. And Johnny's right there and he is happy to help answer any questions you have. Okay, buddy. Love you. We did our kiss. We did our thing. I followed through with kindness and emotional connection while also being firm in my boundaries. It was awesome. I walked away from that class, went around the corner. I heard him still crying for about 30 seconds. And then he moved into the class. He had a wonderful time. He actually learned how to swim as much as a little four-year-old does in a week-long class. And I got to have some time to myself and I felt amazing. Like one of the moms that I coach that I just talked to this week, like Abby, who said, man, when I do this stuff and it works, I just feel like, mmm, get it. Like I feel like super mom when I see that my strategies get my child actually able to handle something emotionally and also in a way where they respond to my both kind and firm boundaries with respect. And this is completely possible for you, friend. I want you to think about the difference between patience and pause, the difference between spending your time putting out fires and just like passively needing to respond to what happens versus making a plan and taking action. How much time have you spent in either camp in the last two days? Like if you gave a percentage, how much on prevention, how much on putting out fires, what percent would you put on each side? And if you're someone who has a pretty big percentage over on the putting out fire side, then you have a lot in common with the people who choose to hire me as a coach. You have a lot in common with people who choose to say, I want to get to a better result 
as fast and effectively as possible. You have a lot in common with the people who choose to step up and take action and claim the support they really deserve to be a more empowered and effective parent. And those people choose to do it with an expert that they know that they can trust who has had great results in this area. So friend, the third key to calm, confident parenting, after realizing the errors we've made, letting them go, after knowing we are going to shift from just patience to a new mindset of pause and being fully equipped for how to better handle that pause, you now need to ask yourself a very important question. I call this the best question to end your daily battles.